What's up? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jade and today you're gonna learn how to grow on social media with a small ass following. Um, basically, if you're new here, I hope you feel welcome. And if you're not new, what's up fam? You guys rock. This is a video I kind of wanted to do for a while just because I feel like everybody, and I don't know if you guys agree, but like, Everyone thinks to make money you have to have a lot of followers and there's just a lot of bullshit out there that I kind of want to kick ass in because you guys need the truth, you deserve the truth and that's all I want to give you. So we're going to dive right in. If you're so far enjoying this face, um, this energy, we're going to make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. On this channel we teach you how to grow on social media and I think that would be pretty cool if you could like this video. Like. I'm feeling in some sort of mood. Typically I'm not this like freaking groovy. I've been doing a thing guys where I've been turning off all my notifications and I just turned off my phone I turned off basically Instagram which can be super sad and super hard to let go but everything I'm doing right now has a lot of focus um, I'm building my app a few companies and you know marketing is a huge part of my life but sometimes you got to cleanse yourself so just a pro tip I'm feeling so much more alive if you are kind of doing social media and you're fed up with this topic you know what close your phone take a nap come back I do make a lot a lot of videos about how to grow on Instagram but like my number one thing ever is if you ever feel forced it's a good idea to take a break so I kind of want to bust some quick little tips that you can use to grow your social okay the first thing I don't know I just literally came up with this video in my head is thinking that they have to have a hundred thousand a million two million ten million followers to be successful and it's just like once you have 10k it's not enough like you need more and it's like everyone wants to hit like a hundred thousand followers on Instagram or 10% like engagement whatever the fuck that means the thing is with that is you have to understand people you guys lack so much perspective you literally right there lack perspective okay think about it like this did you know if you have 50, if you have just like 20,000 followers and subscribers on YouTube, you're automatically the top 10% of the entire world. There are 50 million pieces of content uploaded every day. Did you know that? Even if you have whatever you aren't happy with, which is your engagement, your likes, you're not doing so well, you have to realize even if you have 10,000 or 20,000, you're automatically the fucking top 10%. And those big boys, rice gum, or all the YouTubers that have millions and millions of followers are not even 1% of the world. It's 0.0001, okay? So don't even, don't even fret about it. It's okay if you're small. You know what? It's better if you're small. Size doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it does. I guess what I'm trying to say is, by the way, I have, I have pants on. I, I promise I have pants on. I feel like everyone's thinking about millions and making billions when, dude, what are you about focusing on just making your first 10,000 because that's already really good. Well, everybody just lacks perspective. So that's the first tip I want to talk about. You're doing great, sweetie. Love yourself first, okay? Okay, uh, the next tip. I have no idea what this video is. Honestly, I'm just kind of chilling after my meeting. So the next tip is market penetration versus mainstream. I think that's a weird ass title. Let me rephrase. I'm going to tell you guys the benefits of being small versus big. <laughs> So when you are a smaller size, maybe you have a thousand followers, typically those people find the best engagement, right? If, you're, if your followers are mostly people from school, you're going to get great engagement because you know these people. When you become mainstream, you open up your audience to multiple markets, meaning not everyone's going to like your content. I feel like everyone's so, so focused on being mainstream before they've even begun to hit market penetration. Before you scale something, you need to hit market penetration. You literally need to suffocate an audience first, which for me is called called dominating your niche before you go mainstream a lot of you guys are fucked up and you're thinking like okay I'm gonna become a beauty lifestyle sports cook vegan lifestyle mother blogger and then just like honey focus on one industry you can always expand later on but when you think about Justin Bieber or all these guys they focus on one platform first um, a lot of you guys are fucking just thinking that you can do all of it at once and you need to hit market penetration first and the way you do that is basically getting everyone in the audience that you particularly think you can target and having them watch your content this this can take months this can take years and I feel like they, my tip is if you're small it's okay if you stay in market penetration for like years and years because then at least your conversion rate is extremely high. Think about it like this. Someone who has a thousand followers gets higher engagement rates, right? And higher response than someone with millions and millions of followers. Honestly, this video is really weird. Um, I guess I should cut title this video. If you're small, watch this. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to show you guys one tip I've been doing lately. I look really weird. The tip number three I want to share is if you don't know how to be creative, 
stop going on the platform you are trying to dominate in for example if you're trying to be instagram famous or if you're trying to be blogger famous or if you're trying to be youtube famous don't use that platform you're trying to get famous on to get inspiration literally i'm telling you if you don't want to get caught for copying or being unoriginal that's not a bad thing actually to copy but if you just want to have more original ideas literally go to reddit go to freaking twitch Go to Twitter and get your inspiration from another platform. If you read headlines on BuzzFeed or CNN, that could be a good piece of content for Instagram. And I feel like a lot of people are just looking at the platform and they're not multi-channeling and getting inspiration. That's why your guys' content sucks. If you keep copying each other for too long, it's okay to copy in the beginning. You guys know my whole rant about stealing like an artist, right? But if you haven't heard that, I'll, I'll link it below. Well, basically, it's okay to imitate people you have inspiration from. It's just that if you do that for too long, you're going to have less of an innovation, less of your own brand name. If you don't innovate, you're not going to have a reason for people to care, which is why my biggest tip if you're small is don't always backpack off the big people. Once you do that for the next few months, go to Reddit and go to literally CNN, search up the highest performing article, what, what's, most current, what's the most current event, type that into an Instagram caption and call that a piece of content um, with a selfie that has something to do with whatever you're talking about. That's where I think small influencers can get more power is because while the big influencers are chasing something larger bigger trends you can focus on current events competition and maybe twitter memes you know stuff like that that makes you more relatable and more impactful Pop in a tip check out other platforms than just the platform you're trying to dominate in it'll help you get more inspiration and actually think from different perspectives and not get caught for copying because sometimes that sucks this was such a weird video like i don't know if you guys like this i'm just chilling in my little uh, i'm about to head to my next meeting i just wanted to film something quick for you guys i love you so so much by the way since you guys are the real ones i have a free gift for you i typically don't do this but click the link below on my exclusive messenger platform i'm going to send you a guide for instagram caption ideas i made this and i kind of want to share it for some of my true fans all you got to do is click the link below to join the squad you're going to get some in-depth exclusive value for me so check it out below if you want that instagram caption idea guide all right guys i just want to say thank you for 40k we hit that yesterday Woo! i love you so so much thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one shout out to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be featured in the next episode if you want to be the next comment winner motherfucking comment below and i'll catch you guys in the next one goodbye